Hello MechWarriors, how is it going? Welcome to your daily dose of MechWarrior Online. Today guys we are playing the Battlemaster because there was a request that um, people wanted to see a Battlemaster, they wanted to see the 1G specifically and they wanted me to use the missile hardpoint and that's exactly what we are doing today. Now let's take a look. The Battlemaster has uh, some interesting things here. It has 7 energy hardpoints, 1 missile hardpoint, 2 ballistics. We ignore the ballistics completely because they are extremely low slung on the arm. However, our MRM is sitting on top of our shoulder which means it has great peaking potential. Also, our medium lasers here on the high shoulders are also very, very good for peaking. And you might say, yeah, it's medium lasers, they have a quite limited range. They do not, because we have a 10% energy range, we have a 10% medium laser range, and if we combine that together, we have a 360 meter range. And that is absolutely insane, guys. That's super duper incredible. So uh, we can actually shoot at mid-range with that. To complement the build or to complement the medium lasers, we also have a large pulse on the arm. So our main engagement range is about 400 meters and we can deal quite a good amount of damage. Our Alpha Strike is 70. We have decent cooling. We are even running a targeting computer for the lasers. Obviously, the missiles do not benefit from it. And we even have enough room for an AMS. So I would say this build is quite fun to play. Although I gotta say, the Battlemaster is a big target, it's an obvious target, and it's not the fastest one in the universe, so be careful with your positioning, don't try to like be in the middle of the fight, on the front line, because you're taking a, you're getting taken apart quite quickly if people start focusing you. So it is um, a mid-range, a mid-liner, not a front liner, not a back liner, I would say a mid-liner, that can step forward to take some damage, but uh, try to avoid it if possible. Anyway, here is our skill build. We have invested into firepower a lot because, again, I consider this a DPS mech, not really a tank, and therefore I wanted to go for laser duration and all the missile nodes as well as some heat management on the way down. We also have the left side of the survivability tree to get additional armor. The more HP, the better. But what's more important than that, since, again, I want to be able to shoot often and fast, we want heat management. Therefore, Cool Run is our friend, heat containment is our friend, and uh, we are really, really happy to have them here. 60% rate of deprivation helps us and we have a UAV plus double cool shot. Also, a thing that I just realized, I added the AMS afterwards. You can actually invest into this here and then maybe this point of AMS overload in order to... Actually, that's not a good idea. Uh, two points. Maybe taking him out from cooldown, doing something like this, uh, could help you with, again, being a bit more defensive when you want to capitalize on your AMS. That would be an alternative build if you really want to push that AMS limit. But again, that is the build that I was playing here. And I hope you have a lot of fun in the two games that are coming now. And if you do, don't forget to leave a rating, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And now it's time to hit the battlefield. All right, first game of the day. We are playing Solaris City, we are playing Skirmish, and yeah, we have our missiles loaded, we have our AMS loaded, and um, the medium lasers as well as the large pulse, so that's gonna be a lot of fun playing this here. The range of the medium lasers is incredible. 360 for medium lasers, that is 90 meters more than it usually would be. That is so in incredible, it's really good. It's like ER mediums here, but it's regulars. And that's the cool thing. And uh, yeah, we want to fight at about 400 meters. I would say our battle master is in a good, uh, in a good position there, or would be in a good position at about 400 meters. And of course, if the field tightens, then we would get into a better range even with the medium lasers. But hey, let's see. Well, we'll take the high ground approach here because you can always uh, do a defensive move by falling, but the other way around, it's a bit difficult without jump jets. So yeah, again, high ground first. Just stay together. Ignore the guys there. We want to get into the center of the map. I want to get into the center of the map. I, I don't know what, what about you guys, but here is what we do. We're gonna take that. Um, I want to shoot him. I can't. Now I can. Great. Good. Oh my. That, that was not great. Okay. We'll go for, again, the low ground. Let's do it. There is a trebuchet. Ow, ow, ow. That's friendly. Very unfriendly, in fact. Uh, they have a UAV up. Can you take that somehow? Okay, took damage for nothing. That's not great. Let's go somewhere else. I'm not feeling comfortable in this bulk of teammates here. I'm sorry to say, but can I please get out of here? See, the thing is, if you build a ball, then you're highly susceptible to strikes. Come on, guys. Show up. Show up. Okay, Shadowcat is probably just peeking here. It's trying to peek. Can I please get an angle? Holy cow. Wow. Uh, it's kind of weird. I want to get into the fight, but everybody is denying it from me. 
Okay, the rock's there. Yeah, I'll be pushing forward. Hoping for uh, some support. Uh, catapult is mildly damaged. Light mech here. That's a problem. Okay, we'll kill Urbi first and then everything later. Okay, and it's an LBX on the urban mech. Crazy. Alright, we got that arm. It's the wrong arm though. I want your LB. Okay, so here we go. Urbi is technically out of the fight. Let's... Yeah, he's dead. I mean, sure. What else would you expect? Can I fit through here? That's the biggest question now. I think I cannot. I can. Okay, cool. Got a twist with my left side. Can we kill? Oh, we couldn't. Oh, I was pretty sure that we could. Now we could. That yeah, was very important to get that guy. Wishness. Can we defend? Oh my god, that's beautiful. That's beautiful. Uh, somebody was pushing in front of me. The Mad Dog saved my life, actually. We are down to 45%, but it's okay, because we want to keep pushing. Keep, keep, keep pushing. That's what we do. Um, should I shut my lasers? Yeah. Component destroyed. Down he goes. We have five and one. Let's help out here. It's just an arm that we should better. Better, better, better. Come on. Cool shot. Got the kill. Pretty good. Now here. Not needed. Cool shot was wasted as a result. But okay. Let's keep doing what we are doing here. We still have 320 missiles. We should be able to bring it to the end. Man, I wish I could get an angle on this Annihilator. It's such a tasty target. It's pushing over to the left. But I don't think that we can shoot him at all. Maybe the trap. Oh, legs, 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 legs. Come on. Oh. Careful. So, it looked, it looked pretty dire in the first phase of the game, but in the end, it didn't even matter. Alright. And we even got the last kill. Ah! Oh my god, crazy, cool. Down to 45%, I would say. Yeah, we dealt a bit of team damage here. A little bit. I would say 30, maybe? I don't know. What's more important is that we got 12 and 2 in the end. And, oh, only 11. Alright, so that's fine. Um, we got three killing blows. We got four assists, three kill most damage dealt, 742 damage done, 476 taken, as well as 12 components destroyed. And that was the first round. Let's go over to the next round and see how this will go down. Alright, the second game of the day. We are playing the Polar Highlands. We seem to have a million missiles on our team. Two Sun Spiders! Whoa, look at that. Look at the beauty. Oh, the Sun Spider brothers. Uh, I know, I know who picked Polar Highlands now. There's another Sun Spider. Oh my god, three Sun Spiders! <laughs> really? <laughs> the triple Sun Spiders. Okay. Yeah, I believe that we will have a rather slow-paced game in this one here. Okay, so let, let's see. We want to find an angle on the enemies. Of course, I want to be in range. There's a Shadow Hawk. Okay, let's... Yeah, let's shoot him. Let's try to get close. Let's try to find an angle. Uh, I'm gonna go to the right side. At the very least, we can probably count on having enough LRM support that might drive the enemies back. Uh oh, that's bad. Okay, that's not that bad. That's fine. 800 meters. So I should only shoot my large pulse there, by the way. And honestly, I don't want to catch any return fire. Uh oh, UAV behind us. Let's take that real quick. Got it. Okay. That was important. Somebody was in our midst there. Uh, might have been a light stealth mech, maybe. Uh, some of us are actually pushing forward. So we have a combination of LRM and direct fire mechs, which I do appreciate. Again, only the large balls here because we can deal fractions of damage with that. Nothing else. The Shadowhawk is out of range for our other weapons. Okay. Got that. And we are actually making a very nice move in team cohesion. Let's shoot the Direwolf to death. Let's go. Yeah, I'm looking forward to that. And he's down. Sorry, Mr. Direwolf, you were completely caught out. Uh, okay, let's fight, guys. Let's go in. I'm on the Archer, by the way. The Archer's a good target. UAV here. Get that Archer. Juliet. Juliet. XL? Uh, might be. Might be XL. It's probably. Yeah, he was. No, wait. Ah, backstrike. All right. We shot because we want to be in the fight for a little bit longer and that means that every point of cooling now is helping us king crab please hotel king crab get that boy nice uh phoenix hawk why not 
Not the best target in the world since it's rather mobile. Okay. Let's go for this guy. Um, so I want to go for big components with my missiles so that most of them actually hit and connect to the enemy's armor. Alright, let's go for the caddy. Kitty caddy. Shadow kitten. Side also destroyed. Yeah, he's basically a dead kitten now. However, I don't want to be dead. Go for the kill. Good. MRMC here. Oh, this is so beautiful. Zap and zap. Another kill. Oopsie, sorry. Phoenix Hawk down. 10 and 2. Our team had the best positioning and the best team cohesion and the best setup, I would say. That was insane. It's really well done from the teammates. So, we had direct fire. We had the LRM support, keeping the enemies under pressure, under fire. They were just moving around, so it seemed, while we were constantly shooting them from every angle. And I would say, I, I think we got lucky in this one here. Again, having like real good composition of our team. Anyway, we got three killing blows, eight assists, uh, one kill most damage dealt, 557 damage done, 153 taken, and nine components destroyed. I'd say, holy cow, that mauler. Wow. 1046. I wish I could see his build now. PGI, if you're listening, can we please make it so that I can hover over this and we get to the target information? I just want to hover over my friends to quickly see what they are bringing. We just need uh, the little bit of a, um, uh, like the targeting silhouette that you would normally get when you target somebody else. It would be so good to see what he was running. Anyway, was your daily dose for today? I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, support me on Patreon, like, subscribe, leave a comment, click the bell. I hope to see you tomorrow. Goodbye.